Hey, this is Zero Sum, and welcome back to FTL. Currently going through with the Stealth Cruiser Type A. Um, had a very good start to the uh, the run. Just about head on to the last stand here. But uh, the ship's pretty much fully equipped. We've got plenty of scrap to spend as well, so we'll do some upgrading when we jump into the last stand. Uh, we've got uh, three shields online already. We might put a buffer on there. Engines could probably use with one more upgrade. Uh, we've got a decent weapons loadout. Two burst, uh, uh, burst laser two and a dual lasers gives us five laser shots and then we've got the halberd beam on top of that as well. Uh, hull repair means we don't have to worry about uh, hull damage too much. I wouldn't have mind picking up a combat drone, unfortunately we didn't manage to do that. Still a chance we'll get that in the last stand though. And we've also got mind control so we can uh, use that on enemy ship pilots to cut down their evasion. Well, let's jump onto the last stand. Let's see how we go. No fuel but we're about to get some. 10 fuel, 10 hull points, we're back to full hull. Repair stations galore, but no stores. We might just go here, maybe these beacons, and then to the repair station, then to the base. The flagship is pretty close, so that's gonna make it, make it to the base pretty quickly, so we need to be careful with that. What we'll do is some upgrades here. I definitely wanna go for the buff on the shields, so we can keep our three shields regardless. Uh, probably a buff on the weapons and then we'll spend some on engines. And then try to pick up some uh, scrap from some other places as well, so we can do some a little bit more upgrading as well. We've got the repair stations, I suppose, but we can't really make it to both. We'll make it to at least one repair station. Receive a hull from a station orbiting a nearby planet. We are terraforming team C12 again. These guys moved really quickly. We actually encountered them in a previous sector, so they've obviously moved on from that previous sector. Offer assistance. Last time we used Zoltan, let's use advanced sensors this time. And it's a trap. A four shield ship, wow. A complete scan of the planet reveals no life signs other than a single ship on the surface. Terraformers thank you for your help and attempt to contact the ship. Just as you're about to jump away, the ship takes off and attacks. It's a pirate. Missiles the only thing we need to worry about. They've only got four shots. We've got decent evasion, so we should be able to dodge some of their shots. We'll just cloak through their missile. No other systems we need to worry about on board their ship. Should be a pretty easy fight. It looks kind of scary with the four shields, but I think it should be relatively easy. Because we can mind control their pilot to cut their evasion down. Let's see how they time their weapons here. Oop -de -oop. Do we want to boost our engines ever so slightly? I think we do. Missile away. Okay, let's do this. Let's cloak. Let's power the mind control. Let's mind control their pilots. Let's target whatever we're doing. Oh, there's a small chance we'll get through, but I don't know if we will. Shields down at least. We want to get their weapons offline with our first shot, so let's do that. It's a five room combo as well. Offering a very quick surrender there. Four missiles, 36 scrap. Nope. 36 scrap sounds like a lot, but for the last stand, you should be getting a lot more than 36. Sort of 50 plus is what you're aiming for in the last stand. Top misses. Shields down again, yeah, this is going to be a very, very quick fight. Put our option back on. One fuel, one drone, uh, one missile, and 65 scrap, that's more like it. So, let's get one reactor power. We probably want to put some buffer on some of these other things as well. I do like going for the second level of mind control so that we have the option to make the pilot of the flagship destroy his piloting system. And doors, we'll do doors first. That's probably more important than the uh, second level of mind control. It doesn't need to be powered either, which is good. And, ooh, do we wanna fight these dudes for a little bit of extra cap? I think it's safer to go straight to the repair station. Well, we've got, oh, I probably could have gone to those beacons. We might go back, because I've got the hull repair drone, so even if I take damage before the flagship fight, I can actually repair the uh, hull between flagship phases. Five fuel, four missiles, five drone parts, 39 scrap. We've got a huge number of drone parts, 28, so each one of those is worth four to five hull points if we use the hull repair drone. 55 scrap though, so I'm tempted to go for, this, for the final level of door control for the uh, boarding parties. Let's do it. Do I want to jump to these? I don't think I do. I really do not think. Let's go to the base. I'll see if we can make it to the repair station across the way before the flagship gets there. 
Actually, we might do this. Go to the repair station. I wonder if we get there before the flagship. I mean, I'm pretty much ready to fight the flagship anyway now, so we'll do that, and we'll see if we can get to the repair station and get the goodies before the flagship does. No, we do not. This is it, the Rebel flagship. If you're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. I wonder if anyone's ever got to this stage of the game and thought, oh, I might actually turn back at this, this point, head back to the start of the game. Hacking, which we cannot do anything about. Hopefully they don't hack anything important. Engines is pretty important, but it's not vital. We'll carry on for a little while. Sometimes we can knock the first phase of the flagship off pretty quickly. Okay. Just have to wait for the hull boom to charge. That's the first step. Engines are back online. There's those shots. Let's power the engines fully. You can also use the mic control power temporarily, I suppose. Until we need that. All the shots hit. Let's cloak through that missile shot quickly. Go back to mine for the hull beam. Slowly getting there. Okay, mic troll their pilot. Fire the burst lasers. Shields down. Four room combo with the Albert beam. This should knock their cloaking system offline. It does. The hacking system is disabled, not destroyed. Let's boost our evasion for their ion shot. Oh, all three shots hit. That was annoying. Okay, power back to auction temporarily. Can we get through to their cloaking before they get it back online? I don't think we can. I think this guy gets the cloaking system repaired before we can do anything. Oh, they're going for... It looks like an empty room. That should be fine. Dang. That, oh, the cloaking's offline. That's a problem. Let's launch a hull repair drone. Because we're about to take some damage. Let's get... Let's vent this. Uh, like that. And we'll send these two guys into repair the cloaking. We had one miss. And shields. Shields is the priority. Let's vent that first. Get the cloaking repaired. Taking damage, but it doesn't matter because we've got a hull repair drone. Uh, let's vent this. I meant to vent this in the first place, but it didn't actually uh, open the doors properly there comes their iron shots. We'll cloak as soon as we can and then we'll fire. We should better finish them off with the next shot. Three misses, happy with that. Cloak. Um, we'll wait for those fires to go out then we'll put these guys back on their stations. Our sensors are down unfortunately so we can't mind control anybody. Let's use that power for something else. We need to get the shields repaired here as well. Let's close the internal doors. Let's even out the auction a little bit if we can. Send you guys in to repair their shields. I'll be in charge a little bit more. Okay, let's go for it. Shields down. This should finish them off. Yes, it does. We're back up to full hull anyway. That was pretty good. Two fuel, one, uh, one missile and 22 scrap. Just got some systems to repair. Yeah, I'm a little bit low on crew members. But apart from that, I'm pretty happy with the ship set up for the flagship fight here. Med bay next, and then we'll get the sensors repaired as well. Got a couple of crew members that need healing up. Yeah, this the hull repair makes it so much easier because in between uh, flagship phases, you can actually repair the hull back to full, especially if you've got lots of uh, drone parts, which we do. Crew healed up, back to stations. Systems are all repaired. 27 scrap. Ooh. I wouldn't mind getting the second level of mind control, but that's fine. We'll keep the 27 scrap for now. That's heading straight to the base. So it's going to be a quick second phase. We don't have to wait for the flagship to come back. This is the drone, a drone swarm phase of the flagship. Okay. No cloak though. And we have a boarding drone. We've got a mantis to do the fighting. Uh, the engineer has actually leveled up. Turing's actually got his uh, maximum engine experience now. So we've got uh, slightly better evasion as well. Let's put the evasion on full. Do I want to fight this guy in shields? I don't think we do. We'll see how much damage the Mantis can do by, by himself. Uh, we actually want to get power into temporarily into mind control so we can mind control their pilot. He's not going to be able to take out the drone system by himself. I don't think the uh, boarding drone. 
weapons are charged. Mind control their pilot. Systems wise, we probably want to take out their missile system. So we'll probably go piloting through to the missile system. Shields down. Piloting through to the missile system. A little bit of damage, not enough to actually take the system out. Come their lasers, let's boost our evasion for that. We want to cloak through their missile system when it fires. And also we'll probably get most of their drone swarm as well when we cloak. We'll basically try and cloak as late as possible here. Missiles away. Ooh! We just lost a crew member. I wasn't paying attention. Oh no, we didn't. Okay, cloak. One hit to doors, that's fine. Just one damage to doors. Um, let's get this guy healed up. Let's put power into med bay. He might do a little bit of damage to shields, but I've got a buffer in shields, so that's not really that important. In comes the drone swarm. Weapons are ready for the next shot. Let's actually target their um, missile launcher here. We'll go uh, piling through to missile again. Good, missiles are down. Let's boost our evasion for the drone shot. Can I do that? No. I need to leave medbay on to get this guy healed up. There's a chance that these drones will get through and actually do damage to me here. We've got the hull repair drone so it doesn't matter too much. As long as my weapons stay online, I'll be happy. Doors, engines, not great. Um, do I want the engines to burn? What we'll do is we'll send you into med bay. Let's vent the back of the ship to put those fires out. Okay. We'll leave the auction off for now. Shields up. Looks like the drone swarm is abating a little bit. No shots to weapons though, so I'm happy about that. There's a lot of damage to the ship, but yeah. Uh, we should better finish them off with the next shot, I think. Let's actually launch a hull repair now. Shields have damaged quite a bit, unfortunately. We've only got two shields left. The cloaking's down as, as well. Okay, weapons charging. Let's fire at their shields. And let's go for maximum damage with the halberd beam. Nope, didn't quite get there. I want to get that cloak back online if I can. Piling is down so we can't do any evasion unfortunately. Hmm. Not looking good. Let's close the doors. Whereabouts is the uh, boarding drone? He's in shield still. Let's see if we can kill him quickly. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, health damage here. Okay, boarding drone is dead. We need to get the oxygen repaired as well. You guys get into oxygen. Fortunately, I can't see what's on board their ships, so we no point having the mind control powered up. We've only got two shields, so we really need to get these weapons online quickly. I think auction's probably the priority, to be honest. Um, let's actually be safe and leave you guys in weapons for a second. Let's launch another hull repair drone. Hubbard beam charging. Almost there. Shields, this should finish them off actually. Yeah, it does. Oof, that was close. Not really, we've got plenty of hull left, but uh, took a lot more damage than I thought it would there. One fuel, one drain pipe, and 20 scrap in the end. And we've got systems exploding left and right. Let's get auction repaired first, that's the priority. This guy needs healing up as well. We've got fires all over the ship. Okay, so all the systems are repaired, we've held up the crew. I'm just going through and launching a couple of uh, hull repair drones here to get the hull back to maximum. And then we'll uh, fight the flagship one more time. Um, I suppose we might as well just uh, wait here for the flagship to come back. Well, we've got a little bit of scrap, let's get our systems powered up. And let's spend this scrap on something. 47. Probably mind, mind control maybe. Although we have to counter their mind control, so I don't know if it's really worth doing it. Uh, I think the cloaking might be the option here. 
We're going to have a boarding party as well. We've already got the doors to maximum. I don't want to lose cloak. Let's go for the uh, buffer on cloak instead. Okay, just have to wait for the flagship to come back now. One phase of the flagship to go. Let's see if we can uh, get this guy destroyed without too much trouble here. Okay, intruders straight away, of course, and mind control, which we'll be countering for a little while. Intruders, let's try and vent that room, try and suffocate them if we can. Turn the oxygen off. We've got uh, maximum blast doors, so you should be able to suffocate this guy pretty easily. Auction's off, so we can now close those doors if we want to. And we'll just fire the uh, lasers. We have to fire them pretty much straight away. Try and get their super shield down, or whatever it's called, the Zoltan shield. We'll cloak for their missile and nothing else. Let's boost our engines to maximum. 48% evasion should be enough. Missiles away, cloak straight away. Okay. Next shot from the lasers should actually get their shields down. More intruders. Auction off. Uh, we'll probably retreat from engines, from weapons here in a second when they break through. This guy's going to get killed pretty quickly. Uh, stay in weapons for now because we want the charging time to be fast on the weapon system. This guy's going to be killed. Yep. Uh, super weapon is about to fire. Let's turn off all the weapons here. No, we need to fire the dual lasers. We need to get their uh, uh, super shields down. Count of the mind control one more time. Um, these guys look like they want to go to piling. I would prefer if you went to weapons. Can I tempt you to go to weapons? Super weapon fires. Our evasion's at maximum, so hopefully we can get a few misses here. I just can't tempt these guys to go to the uh, weapon system. This way, guys. Don't you want to go to weapons? Ooh, shot the piloting. I don't want to really be in piloting myself at the moment, so uh, you get down there. Let's quickly vent the piloting room. Although it's probably safer to do this. Oops, both you guys are going to pile in. Put that fire out if you can. Uh, we can't cloak through the missile. What are we going to do here? I'd like to have a defense drone right about now. Uh, let's put the auction back on. We'll vent this room here. Auction back on. Uh, we need, still need to keep on firing at their ship to get their shields down, though. Hubbard beam's ready, but it's not much use to us at the moment. Put that fire out, guys. Please. Oh, cloaking's damaged, but we do have a buffer, which is why I got the uh, the buff on the uh, cloaking system, just in case that happened. Let's try and put the fire out there quickly. Let's vent that room. Okay. Burst laser fires. That should get their shields down at least. Yeah, it does. Good, good. We can't actually see what's going on on board their ship, though, because we don't have sensors. I think there might be more intruders on board our ship as well. Where are they? They're in the weapon system. It is venting. Let's send you in to fight the guys in the weapon system. They should actually die soon. Yeah, uh, let's vent these rooms as well. Okay, that, sh that should be enough to kill the intruders, I think. Uh, we'll cloak through the next missile shot. Shield's coming back up. Let's cloak through their missile shot. Okay, we should be good now. Let's... While we're cloaked, let's activate the hub repair drone. Oh, we can't because it's damaged. Dang. I wouldn't mind getting the cloak, the uh, drone system repaired. It's probably not going to happen, though, for the rest of this fight. Same for the uh, sensors. I wouldn't mind having the sensors as well. Let's get the piloting repaired, though, just for the evasion. Weapons charging. One hit in the cloaking, damn it. We can't cloak anymore. That we definitely need to get repaired, so you go down there. I, don't, I think all the intruders are dead. Let's do that. Send you... Uh, we'll wait for the oxygen to come back a little bit. Counter the mind control again. Send you guys into the uh, cloaking. Okay, weapons charged. What can we do? I wouldn't mind getting their mind control off the line, to be honest. Let's see what happens. I wouldn't mind getting their missile offline as well. Uh, what can we do here? Missile, shields, and mind control. Unfortunately, we can't get all three. Mind control is not really that much of a problem. I think missile is probably more of a problem. So let's do the uh, combination that I usually use, which is piloting, shields, and missile. 
do we not have oxygen in there? Is there a hull bridge somewhere, maybe? Ah, oh, we've got a hull bridge. Okay. This is gonna be bad. I need these guys healed up and I don't want them to die. Into med bay. We'll have to try and finish the fight without the cloak. It's gonna be tricky. Super weapon. Evasion is as high as it's going to go, which is not very high. 35%. One crew member dead. Uh, you leave temporarily until the fire's out. Oh, you're stunned. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose crew members here. There's nothing I can do about that. You go to weapons temporarily so you don't die. This guy's about dead as well. Please leave. There's no oxygen in there, so it should vent. Let's make sure it does. There goes piloting. Shot to shield. In comes the missiles. We can't do anything about that. We're probably going to lose our guy on shields as well here. Okay. How many help points do they have remaining? Two, four, six, ten. Is there a five room combo here? I don't think there is. There's definitely a four room combo. I think that's the forum combo we should go for though. We can't counter the mind control, so we're going to get our shields destroyed here in a second. There's only two hull points remaining on the ship. So that's one crew member. Ship destroyed, wow. We took a lot more damage than I was anticipating there, but we managed to pull it off in the end. Thanks to the valiant effort of the Nasasio and the surviving crew members, Mathau and Turing, the only two surviving crew members from all those guys that we had along the way. Okay, let's head back. I don't think we unlocked any ships there at all. I think there's still some more achievements we need to do. Let's head back to the hangar though. Let's have a quick look at our list of ships. Yeah, no new ships unlocked. I think we actually have to start doing some achievements for some of these other ships to start unlocking ships. Uh, we've got the flagship victory for the stealth ship. So we'll probably go on to maybe the Mantis or the uh, Lania ship next time. But I'm going to leave it there for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.